Hi everyone, so today I thought I would show you my Hobonichi cousin Avec and um, give you the flip through of August and how that all went in this planner. So um, looking at this cover, it is the Have a Nice Day cover from Hobonichi and I have been using this planner since July when the Avec started and I did this like cover this is from wrapping paper from a gift I received. And then um, this vinyl from Virgo and Paper. I've just been like putting in different things. This is a postcard from a restaurant and sticky notes and so on. So you've seen some of this before when I did my July flip through and I thought it would be fun to do the same thing and show you how it all went for August. So looking at this, um, I wanted to show you kind of this monthly calendar layout and I really enjoy just writing like a memory in this layout. I think I've shared this before that um, typically I just write a thing that happened that day or a couple things that happened that day or something that I was really excited about or whatever and I thought that turned out really cute. On the weekly spread I think I have a little bit more trouble with that but um, this was the last week of July, which I think I showed in my last video, but this is August and for most of August I did use it for planning and then I kind of wanted to transition how I'm using it, so you'll see that a little bit. So again, similar to what I did before, I have some habit trackers, to-do list, um, various to-do lists in this middle section, and then I wrote about like my allergy symptoms on the bottom. I previously have been putting like different Instagram or YouTube post ideas up here as well, but I just haven't been keeping up with that lately as you have probably seen. And then I think these layouts worked pretty well, but there was just something about this that just didn't feel quite right for my planning at this particular moment. So um, I just like trying out some different things, you know, with the sticky notes writing like different category lists in various places and then yeah i think this was the week that the uh, vds came so my new vds standard tn and this it came on this day and then i decided okay this week i'm gonna try planning in that just so i could like use it and start to enjoy it and I'm really happy about how that's going actually. So after this week was over, I was like, okay, what am I gonna do with the weekly spread? And I thought it would be fun to try to do kind of like a memory keeping spread of like what I actually did, even though like my daily pages are a lot of that as well, but I thought it would be just fun to do it here. And then I could continue to track some of like the health symptoms. I also started tracking like the weather and the allergy forecast because I'm clearly just having trouble with that lately. Um, ever since like July for some reason. I don't know. But anyways, this is the first week of September. So I guess you get to see more of that later. And let's flip to the daily pages. So I still don't really have a good idea of what to do with this. I'm like tracking some of the different things we're watching. Just like funny little memories. But I want it to be like more cute. Anyways, August flip. I'm not mad that like some of these days are like partially empty. I think there was at some point in my brain like, okay, cool, I can like write lists or do whatever else here, but I just never got around to it. But um, I just love like all the different memory keeping that happens and all the photos. And it brings me a lot of joy to like look at all of it. For sure. Um, my friend got me a really cute sticker and she was like, oh, did you put it in your journal? And I was like, absolutely not. I can't put like this sticker as like a final thing on this one page. So I took a picture of it and put it in here. But it's a really cute sticker and right now it's like in a pocket on the front of a sticker album. So I like that. Um, this page I think I shared on Instagram, which I loved, and I was like really proud of myself actually for um, both pages and just fitting so much on the page. I think like having this kind of like more loose structure really helped me because otherwise I would just be like square, 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 
or rectangle actually the pictures are right so um i really enjoyed this and love these like memories as well this is so cute um one of my coworkers got one of these smiskies and um it was weird because like she got them for all of us and so there was like five of us and half of us got the same thing but anyway thought it was cute so i wanted to put that in there my coworkers also made me download costar and so this was literally the first day and i wanted to put this in here because i was so entertained by it um my dues for it for that day were small pouch rubber stamp and clothespin and i was like oh my god i love small pouches and rubber stamps so so perfect um just more things i just love all these spreads and i'm like not super mad about these empty pages like obviously i wish there was like more stuff but i'm also okay because there's so many good pages anyways um this turned out really cute there's something about this washi tape that's like not very sticky so this is just like unsuccessful at sticking anything like this it keeps coming up i don't know why um this page turned out really cute this is the new vds that came um my friend was staying with me and she gave us this really cute card so i wanted to put that in there I don't actually know like where to store cards so i know there's like those greeting card organizers but i just thought it was so much cuter to stick this card in my journal um that she gave to us that day because it was like such a bright spot on that particular day and you know something that happened and then more pages one thing i also noticed is that i really have a hard time journaling on thursdays like let's just like wednesday thursday in particular but like thursday is hard let's just see um and clearly so here's a thursday in july and clearly it's um difficult this is also thursday <clears throat> oh this was not a bad thursday so anyways it's a trend um just more things i love this sticker Here's a picture of my new VDS setup that weekend I was working on it. So it's awesome, super exciting. Um, these pictures are ridiculous, I just like them. And then another blank Thursday, weird co-stars. I was happy that I got breakfast at work that day because I usually don't get there early enough. I'm journaling about Hobonichi and what I wanted to get on the 31st. It's so cute, yeah. So anyways, that is the flip through for August. I know I have some blank pages. I think in my brain at some point too, I thought I would go back and like try painting on some of them because that's something I want to keep practicing and I just haven't gotten around to because I've been busy, but also just been, you know, a busy, busy month doing stuff and I'm not mad about it. Yeah, so anyways, with my Hobonichi thoughts, um, I thought I'd also show you my Hobonichi haul since that came as well. So like this day, I was just writing out all the various things that I thought I would want to get. And then I spent so much time, I wrote this in my journal, I spent so much time thinking about like what Hobonichi stuff I wanted to get, where I was gonna buy it from, all this kind of stuff. And then I didn't even order on the 31st, which I think is actually good because it gave me more time to decide and I got to avoid like the weird Hobonichi site craziness. So like that was all totally fine, but I had like a nice day at home, but it was also, or mostly at home, but um, it was also just so funny how much I spent like thinking about what Hobonichi stuff I was going to order, where I was going to order it from, because I also had like a jet pens cart that I was so close to the free shipping limit. So I was like, oh, do I order it from here? Blah, blah, blah. Overthinking for sure around all of that. So in the end on Sunday morning, I ordered everything and I am going to move this out of frame so I can show you what I got. And we can like unbox some of it together. So this is the uh, sushi print stoppo and for some reason I was like really into the sushi print here like uh, I went to Kinokuniya last weekend before this arrived and like was so close to buying myself a weeks just because they had it in the sushi print and so I'm like 
I don't know. Why am I so crazy about the sushi print? Okay, let's unwrap this so we can take a look. How cute is this? All right, so what does it say in here? Oh, that's fun. Let's open it up. One of the things that I was really excited about about this case, let me zoom out. So one of the things I was really excited about about this case was that it was pink on the inside. So obviously, you know, I'm like a big pink girl. So the Velcro is pink too. Oh my God, I'm dead. So these cute little pockets. There's also this big section here in the middle. And I thought I would try to put some things in here just to see what happens. So can we fit this in here? So you could fit a Hobonichi A5 in here, but that probably is not the point because you couldn't go like that. But if you had this open on a desk, I guess that would be cute. Um, let me grab my A6. So you could put an A6 in here. It's a little better this way. And then close it still with an A6 in there. So that's definitely something to note. You probably could put a Weeks in there too, like long ways if you took out this little velcro part under and go like this yeah so you could put the um cousin in the long way so fun i love this and i don't really know like what my plan was for this so i guess i just have to play around with it i'm just gonna grab some random stuff that's around here so <laughs> tombow pen Again, you could put it in, not standing up, but the long way. With regular size like markers or pens, you can definitely put them in these pockets standing up. So I think that'll be really nice. Wanted to put that Uniball one. Ugh, so cute. Let's throw this washi tape in. I love it. So there's a lot of room to like put stuff in here. Um, and you can like actually use this section too, since it's like blocked off. You could just be like, here's my pen cup or marker cup or whatever it is that you're using it for. And you could really fit a lot of stuff in there. Hold on, let's give this a try. That's like most of the mild liners that I own. So that's really cute if you needed to do something like that. So I actually think what this would be really cute for would be like a like a watercolor travel kit or like a travel kit type thing for um, your planning or journaling. So that's great. All right, now on to the rest of the haul. Let's move this over here. So I already took the Hobonichi out because I was excited about it and I really wanted to try this particular cover on it. So um, super, super excited. I do have a promo code for Cat Espresso Co. still. So if you want to order this floral cover, um, I'll link it below. I want to say my promo code is Joyce10, but you know, I'll link it. I can't remember. So anyways, I was super excited to get this on because I saw a Raquel from Rocky Paper Scissors Co. I never remember her handle properly with this cover. And I really have been like feeling the vibe of people who put stickers all over their front, the front of their Hobonichi. So I am totally going to do that. I have like a whole tin of cute little like vinyl stickers and things that, you know, I could put places and I just haven't done it yet. So I am really excited once it gets closer to 2025 to do that. And um, yeah, looking forward to that. So I opened this already to try the cover on because I was excited. And let's set the rest of this aside. Sorry, I'm just gonna open this because the glare is kind of crazy. Let's see. Okay, so two things that I bought from Jet Pens while I was trying to figure out what I was doing with my cart. So this is the page keeper for the cousin. 
and um, I had one of these once, I think for a week, and then I probably sold it or something, but I kind of like the concept of it. Oh my god, I just totally destroyed this packaging. Why is this not peeling off the way that you would expect? I'm so confused. Okay, whatever, let's just tear this apart. And what you can do is, it's meant for the like fabric type covers that they have, but this also works as well because there is like a pocket here. Oh my God, it's so stuck. Okay, so then you can put it in here. And then depending on like where you are in the book, you could just be like, all right, there we go. And that's the page that you flip to. So that is the um, page keeper, and that's actually pretty cool. Um, obviously, you could do bookmarks or whatever, but I think that is also a handy thing to have. So obviously, if you put this inside a um, like planner cover, which I probably would do, but I also kind of like the idea of letting it just like be loose in this like cover. I don't know. I figured I'd buy that and see if I find a use for it. The other thing that I got was this deco rush. Like, why am I so into the sushi right now? I literally don't know what my deal is. Okay, so let me see. Should we open this too? Also, like, why are these little sushi guys so cute? I can't deal. Should we try this? let's give this a try I'm a little scared I'm kind of behind on my journaling it's literally the 7th and the 8th it's the last time so I gotta catch up but it's today the 14th okay let's give it a try Oh my god, that is so nice. I love that so much. Okay, I'm so excited about this. Okay, I've never bought one of these deco rushes before and there's always like cute patterns. So um, I'm got, glad I got my sushi fix. Okay, yay. I'm so excited about that. All right, so let's open this box and see what else I got. Um, I literally just left like the gross thing in here. Oh no, it's good. I threw out the plastic. But I did keep, of course, this um what is this called? Like a pencil board. So the Hans come with a pencil board with a pen loop, so I could definitely use that. I didn't use it for my Han this year. Um, cause I like the texture of like these papery pencil boards that they have better when you write on them versus this plasticky one. So that's just something to know, but let me take everything out. So we have a little more space. So when you order from Hobonichi directly, you actually get some exclusive items. So I thought I would kind of open them up with you. This is not really my color vibe, but I actually have been using my Hobonichi pen from like 2019 for work for so long that um, I might just use it, even though it's not my vibe. But also I have plenty of other pens, so who knows what I'm gonna do with this. But Hobonichi always has like an exclusive pen. It's a Jetstream pen. It really work works great on Hobonichi paper. I have no objections to it. It's a multi-pen with different colors, so that's also super convenient, um, and they do a different color every year. And the other thing they gave this year is this notebook when you ordered any um, planner, and it is like an exclusive print, so that's why it's in this type of packaging, because you don't know what print you're going to get. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Wow, it's so shiny cute okay i really wanted the one that was like pink but this is also cute so i'm not mad i don't know is it like clouds i 
think it's like a sky, a night sky, right? You can see my reflection. Anyways, I'm not mad about this. I'm happy with that. So much garbage. And then the last thing that I ordered, oh, this also came in like the package with the, with the book. So keeping some of this for journaling, that's all fine. Um, the last thing I ordered was uh, the flat pen case. And so what I was thinking I would do with this, um, which is not super necessary, but you know, it's kind of fun. And like Midori makes something like this as well. So you don't have to, you know, just get a Hobonichi one. And I didn't see this as being available with other retailers that are selling Hobonichi products. Neither was the Sapo. So, you know, had to order from Hobonichi. But inside the pen case, you have like two compartments, basically. There's also a pocket right up here in the front. So you could stick some pens in. And then you can attach it to your planner book. Oh, I have to adjust it. Let's see. Can I figure out how to adjust this? I don't know if I'm the only person on the planet that always has a hard time with these kinds of things. All right. Hopefully I've adjusted that long enough. Okay. Maybe this is not like the cutest combo that I could have come up with, but also would be useful for like any other planner I use. So that is that and you could just keep all your like pens and supplies in here attached to the cover of your book which is super fun now it's like a little lumpy on the back but whatever like you can toss this in your bag really easily and use it and i really like that so anyways that is everything that i bought from the hobonichi release this year i hope you enjoyed my august flip as well as an unboxing of these items and I think what I'll film next is like a comparison of the different Hobonichi planners that I've used before in case you're, you know, still trying to decide what to use for 2025 or trying out different things. Thought I'd just give you my perspective if that's helpful. And yeah, so thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear what you are using for 2025 if you figured that out already if not that's totally fine and if you bought anything from the hope need to release i'd love to know that as well thanks bye